G'day, I'm Josh Nyland here at Fish Butchery Waterloo and today we've got one of the recipes that we're going to cook from my new book and it's ice cream but using the eye of a fish so bear with me. To make fish eye ice cream you need to start with beautiful fresh fish eyes. So these ones here uh, from a fish called Nanny Guy. This ice cream isn't specifically made to use only Nanny Guy eyes because that would limit its reach quite a lot. What I'll do to start is basically turn the eye over. We make a cut with a short knife into the back of the eye. We break this open and the first lot of liquid that comes out is called the aqueous humor. And then the second humor that comes is called the vitreous humor. So this little orb or clear jelly bean like it looks like, that's the magic, that's where we came up with the idea to make ice cream. So we've interpreted this product as egg. Basically, we take this piece here off the eye and then we pop it in our milk. And to make one liter of this ice cream is approximately 3% uh, of the vitreous. Everybody gets worried and concerned that this ice cream is going to somehow taste like fish. It doesn't taste anything like fish, it just gives you a very similar textural outcome to that of a chicken egg. Okay, so we've taken the vitreous humor out of the eye, we've popped it into our milk, and the other ingredients I've got here basically is yogurt, so you can use any yogurt, natural yogurt, and what I've added to that is a little sugar, some dextrose, a tiny bit of salt as well, and then in the other pan I've got some cooked rice, so gives it a great flavour and it also aids in the stability of this ice cream as well. All of this recipe is in Fish Butchery book, so detailed explanation of how to get there is all there. We're going to go ahead and make it now. So the milk with the vitreous goes straight into the pan, along with the rice, along with this slightly sweetened yoghurt. we want to bring it up to the boil, which sounds strange because usually with an anglaise using an egg yolk, you would always be keeping it at a lower temperature so that you didn't curdle your eggs. In this case, we need it to boil for the actual vitreous to become active and start to thicken these liquids. Once we're at a boil, we'll reduce the heat and we'll cook this out for approximately 10 minutes. So this recipe came about, uh, I think, out of boredom more than anything because I was making an eye chip at St. Peter. When we first opened, the eye was one of those kind of parts of a fish which gave us the most amount of tension. So we had to come up with something to make it delicious. So what we did was we kind of hijacked a prawn cracker recipe that you would get in, I suppose, a Chinese restaurant, uh, and we would give away these eye chips at the beginning of a meal. You make the same eye chip over and over and over, you do get a little bit bored and lethargic about making it again. So I picked up an optometry textbook of all things, but basically worked out that an eye was made up of two humors, one being the aqueous, the other being the vitreous. And consequently now, we have a recipe which is an ice cream made out of fish eyes that doesn't have any taste at all of fish, but gives us the same textural outcome uh, of one that was made with an egg. Yes, there is that ethical side of things where we want to minimize the amount that goes in the bin, but at the end of the day, the eye is a very small part of a fish. So it is a hard one to wrestle down to say to customers that we're trying to save the planet because we're stopping from putting one eye in the bin, but to work out a solution, a delicious solution, that we can slowly start to think about a fish eye as being an egg. And again, it sounds far-fetched, but if it tastes good, then, you know, what does it matter what it's made from? And so what we're trying to do, even if it's very, very small, is bring about some practical solutions to these textually compromised parts of a fish that otherwise would have got cast aside. So 10 minutes have passed slightly thicker and everything's come together. And now we're gonna take it off the heat and then set our blender up. So the ice cream base in the saucepan, we've removed a small amount and gone into our blender. Uh, starting the blender on a very low setting firstly and then gradually increasing the speed. And the objective here is that we blend the rice together with the vitreous uh, and those sugars and dairy to create a nice thick liquid. So for the recipe that I'm doing today, I'll be using a Paco Jet. You can take this recipe and pop it into a churner. It can be a commercial churner or it can be a domestic churner, both of which work. Both give you a great outcome. 
So, our mix is frozen and we attach it on and then start to churn. All right, the suspense is over. The eye ice cream is ready. Let's take a look. And this is the eye ice cream. One of the many recipes uh, in the fish butchery book, but I don't think they come as unique as this one. All right, so to prove to you how delicious this is, I've got an official taste tester. Does this taste like ice cream? Yeah, good. You cannot tell that there's fish in this. Perfect. 